iGlaucoma presents a video series sponsored by Alcon, Glaucos, New World Medical, and Site Sciences. I'm your host, Dr. Constance Okeke, glaucoma specialist and cataract surgeon, and we're here to get to the point and share surgical learnings and pearls and MIGs. In today's video, the MIGS device featured is the Hydrus Micro Stent by Alcon. If you missed Season 1 of MIGS Success Surgical Secrets with two spotlight videos on Hydrus and the last Season 2 spotlight on Hydrus, check it out in the description box below or the card above. One challenge that can occur with the Hydrus is initially inserting the Hydrus but feeling some resistance and needing to reposition. This can be avoided by a few things that we've touched upon before. Starting at 3 to 4 clock hours from the corneal entry site, which I like to locate and highlight with a marking pen for easy identification when inside the eye. Making sure that the AC is not overinflated with viscoelastic, which can flatten Schlem's canal and make entry more difficult. And making sure that the cannula's beveled tip is advanced through the TM and is well seated in Schlem's canal with the TM visible over the beveled tip of the cannula of the Hydrus Microstent delivery system before advancing the tracking wheel to insert the Hydrus Microstent. We went over several insertion techniques in our last video to help with this. If you've done all these and still have difficulty, here are some examples of initial insertion, retraction, and reloading, reposition, and then successful reinsertion. Here is a case where after the initial insertion, it was seen that the hydrus was not seated well in Schlem's canal. The implant was retracted partially with the inserter, but then got stuck in the process. It was decided to bring the implant and insertion out of the eye to place the hydrus on the corneal surface for recapture. To perform this, the inserter wheel is rotated to expose the interlock at the tip. Then the inlet of the stent is engaged with the interlock as the wheel is rotated in reverse and the stent is now reloaded. Another attempt was made to insert the hydrus at a different entry point with successful insertion. Upon examination of the stent, the position in the canal was good. A Sinsky hook was used to further advance the stent into position without resistance which is another confirmatory sign that the stent is in the proper position. Here is an example of initial insertion of the implant, which seemed to go in smoothly, but upon examination of the stent positioning, one sees that it is not quite in Schlem's canal at the tip. Here we see an example of retraction and reloading within the eye. The implant inserter is reintroduced into the anterior chamber and the tip approaches in a parallel fashion behind the implant near the inlet. The wheel of the inserter is rotated to expose the interlock and then retracted but does not engage with the inlet of the implant. Several attempts are made and heme is in the area making the view more difficult. An important tip here is to pause and create a better view by using viscoelastic to reform the chamber and clear the heme. Then, when reapproaching, make sure that the tip is more forward behind the implant inlet to allow for the interlock to engage and easily retract the hydrus. Now one can reposition, find a new entry site for the insertion, and try again. Hey. Want a must-need glaucoma tool that you can download right now? Grab my 2022 glaucoma medication guide in the description box below. You'll get all the most commonly used glaucoma medications right at your fingertips to help you quickly make decisions about which glaucoma drop is right for your patient. Download it now! Well, that's all the Hydrus Microstent tips for now. If you found benefit in that review for the Hydrus Microstent, please like the video and share with colleagues. We hope that this video will help you on your journey to MIGS surgical success. Subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next video in the series. Thanks for watching the iGlaucoma YouTube channel, a place for glaucoma innovation made easy for eye care professionals.